Hey, it's Friday evening's weather for Weather Geeks. When I recorded this at 8.15 p.m., we had a thunderstorm just north of downtown, up close to Girard, heading over towards the uh, southeastern corner of Trumbull County. And this is the view from our uh, weather camera in Youngstown, showing that uh, downburst, uh, or wet microburst, possibly, or even just a plain old rain shaft. No matter what you want to call it, uh, there's not a lot of evidence with a lot of wind with this, so I, I'd hesitate, I guess, to call it a, a downburst, but uh, certainly a, a very healthy-looking downpour in southern parts of Trumbull County. That's a look from the sky. Here's a look at the radar of that same storm at about 8.15, covering uh, kind of Mineral Ridge to just south of Vienna, and then heading over towards the Hubbard area. Gerard's included in this, so Brookfield just south of there, uh, Yankee Lake. Uh, yeah, pretty Good-looking summertime thunderstorm right there. Otherwise, things are pretty quiet in most of our region. When I recorded this, there was a quick downpour down towards East Liverpool. Going to keep an eye on this cluster of storms that's out here across uh, uh, the Worcester area, heading off to the east. Fair amount of thunder and lightning with that, and that is uh, on track to impact our area as we head into the late 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock hour, if it manages to hold together. Don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the current radar. Most of you are watching this well afterwards, but uh, these storms will tend to dissipate pretty quickly as we head past sunset and most of the night tonight should be pretty quiet. Want to take a hop down to Louisiana, big national weather story today, just the biblical rains that are occurring down here. Up to two feet of rain has fallen uh, from Baton Rouge over towards Lake Pontchartrain in the northern part of Louisiana. Very, very serious situation down there as that low that was parked just off the coast of Florida for several days has migrated west and is now parked over the state of Louisiana. Our weather will be influenced by this cold front. That's going to track our way as we head into the weekend and kind of stall. Browns preseason getting underway up in Green Bay this evening. Some showers to the south, some showers to the west. Not real concerned about a whole lot of thunderstorm activity in Green Bay. All right, I think the sky will try to clear later on tonight. Last night was the peak of the Perseid meteor shower, but there'll still be some visible tonight. If you're a night owl or a very early riser, might want to, you know, take a look at the sky here as we go deeper into the overnight. Now, like I mentioned last night, if you're going to try this, it's not like watching a fireworks show. You've got to be patient. You've got to allow your time, your eyes time to adjust at least 20 minutes to adjust to the darkness. So, of course, you're going to find a dark spot away from Light pollution, you can look anywhere in the sky. Uh, they'll be radiating out of a certain spot in the sky, but you don't have to look at that spot. You can pretty much look anywhere. And uh, this peaked last night at 150 to 200 meteors per hour. Not as many tonight, but still quite a few. And our high-resolution model here showing some chance of clearing as we go towards 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning before clouds try to roll in again tomorrow morning. All right, our weekend weather. Uh, as we head into Saturday, I think the morning's pretty quiet. The afternoon, things will get active again. Showers some thunderstorms. Uh, some of these could be on the strong side, and then it's going to be a soggy period for parts of Saturday night into Sunday morning as this front just sort of stalls. Now, the front may sag just far enough south that we might try to dry out a little bit. At least the steadiest of the rain might try to get out of here for the afternoon and evening on Sunday. But uh, I wouldn't make a whole lot of outdoor plans because the chance of at least a little more rain is, is there all day Sunday. And then a uh, tough forecast early next week because this front's not going very far to our south. And with it staying near the Ohio River, just north of the Ohio River perhaps, there is a chance that more waves of moisture try to come northward and more shower chances uh, work back into the valley during the first half of next week. Uh, we do have a flash flood watch out in Mahoning and Trumbull County. It goes into effect tomorrow and it's in effect through 8 o'clock Sunday evening. Some of our computer modeling here for the weekend. Uh, a good average of an inch to maybe an inch and a half worth of rain shown on the modeling here. The NAM has closer to two inches. Here's my forecast. I think we'll average between an inch and two inches. Now this is an average. Keep in mind that especially tomorrow afternoon, if you get under one of those heavy storms, you can get two inches in an hour if you get under a really bad one. Uh, so to iron out the averages, I came up with this map. Some places won't get a heavy thunderstorm that drops a couple of inches. Some places will, but as an average, you can expect an inch or two of rain this weekend. Uh, drought denting rains, that's for sure. The uh, Storm Prediction Center does have us in the low risk for severe weather tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Uh, usually when you see this darker green color, that means we're looking for isolated severe storms as a possibility. It would be limited in coverage and intensity. Should not be a real big severe weather day tomorrow, but uh, there is a concern for, yes, flooding because of the tropical nature of the air mass. Uh, but 
there is a marginal chance of damaging winds in some of the stronger storms tomorrow as well, and I can't even rule out some large hail. So it's going to be an afternoon and evening to stay weather aware on Saturday. Make sure you're following Candace Monticelli on Facebook and Twitter. She'll be in the studio keeping you updated. Uh, the tropical air isn't going far next week. It's still going to be humid. Now, is it going to be like Key West every day like this week? No. Dew points will retreat mostly into the 60s, but I don't see any sort of clean sweep cold front, a refreshing change coming until perhaps next weekend into the following week. Here's the Long Range European Ensemble showing a very nice little change here, and the models have been kind of hinting at this for a few days now. That So we go towards the 21st to the 26th. This is a period kind of in the 11 to 15 day range from now that uh, we could have more comfortable weather, but it's going to take until then. Until then, Next week is looking still awfully muggy, and there'll be more rain chances as well. All right, more updates uh, on social media, of course, this evening as we track those storms off to our west. I'll see you tonight after our Olympic coverage on 21 News, which I wish was at 11, but is closer to midnight.